Reactor, roll off. What's up, Reactorites? I'm John. I'm Mike. And the latest episode of The Walking Dead just aired, and we're going to be checking it out. Season. I'm doing my part to give them what they want. Too late. Uh oh. Is that Negan? Dun 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 dun. We could just kill him right there. <laughs> little pig, little pig, let me in. <laughs> this guy. First impression. Oh shit. Well, hello there. This looks like a ghost. De devastated. I missed you. <laughs> Squeezy. All right, everybody. Let's get started. Big Daryl. Dar <laughs> oh shit. Hold this. <laughs> wow. He's that cocky. I mean, couldn't they just shoot him? Right? They shoot him, it's over, right? I mean, they're gonna have the other guys to deal with, but it's but like... Negan's the worst one. Yeah. He's still a man. He's just a man, it's like, like he got power or something. <laughs> or like, superpowers. Bastard. What is she doing? Oh, missed. She's trying to be better sniper, is that what she doing? She's like training? Probably. Wow. She's a terrible shot. <laughs> That's why she's got the sword. Yeah. See, Taking this, their furniture. This is the kind of thing that just tickles my balls. A little cooperation and everything is pleasant as punch. Oh. Bam! What do we have here? I got my fingers crossed for Taking a little the freaky dinky. Jeez. Oh, that's right. She did all the interviews, right? Yeah. I don't know why they're all dead. Is that you, Rick, underneath all that man bush? <laughs> all those people out there. Whatever happened to that sick girl? That seemed like a hell of a stressful night for her. Maggie? The way she was carrying on, she was married to number two, right? Oh, yeah. Just oh, careful. careful. Careful how you're looking at me, Rick. Holy crap! You are creepy as shit. <laughs> you on me wearing that collar with that freaky ass smile? Got a guy that just bashed her husband's head in. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Boy, people, they... Quickly, like his demeanor changes. Yeah. yeah. Put some back. When the next one goes in, you. Ah. <laughs> now, boy, where were we? Oh yeah, your giant man-sized balls. <laughs> no, there's 
all the guns you took from my outpost when you wasted all my people with a shit ton of your own guns. And I'm betting there's even more. Which adds up to an absolute assload of guns. And as this little emotional outburst has made crystal clear, I can't allow that. You didn't take all their guns. Yep. Either way, you starve to death, I don't get shit. So for now, you get to keep all the food. How about that? <laughs> so generous. <laughs> what not? What's stopping him? People might still be with us. What's happening? Why is this, why are they not showing her? Yeah. Kind of like creeped out. This is where we are. He's gonna hit him. We just gotta learn to live with it. He's gonna kill him. Rosita. <laughs> Feels good. Sounds good. Oh, I do believe Lucille's getting a little jealous. Well, <laughs> holy smokes. Look at this. It was you guys that took out little Timmy in the dick brigade? <laughs> wow. Rick? Ooh. She looking for guns. Oh, she got a gun. Rosita! <laughs> He's like, it's He's torturing her. her. Let me tell you a little story. <laughs> Olivia. Spencer's done this kind of thing before. We keep looking. Maybe today works out. Oh, I'll check the garage. I look in Deanna's office again. It was just creepy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll look and I'll help save. I'll save everyone. Food. Hidden food. Hidden food. Wine. Spencer? Is it? Eureka! Oh. Spencer had it. Hey, let's go home. Man, I love a gal that buys me dinner and doesn't expect me to put out. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Funny if he starts running. Yeah. <laughs> the bromance is still alive. I ship them. <laughs> oh yeah, we're so lucky. You've led us all to the promised land. Isn't that right, Rick? Here we are. I guess Glenn and Abraham were lucky too. Oh, oh no. Don't, don't, don't talk about that. You say anything like that again to me. I'll break your jaw, knock your teeth out. You understand? Say yes. Yes. I took all their pets. Yeah. Those are mattresses? No! Oh my 
god, this is such a... It's, it's like torture. Yeah, it's really... Not much happened in this episode, but it was just more, like, intense. Like, it was very, like, edge of your seat. Something could happen at any moment. Yeah, and it's just... It's just the whole episode is about defeat. And I'm not sure how many episodes they can do about <laughs> them being defeated. Because uh-huh. sooner or later, you know, the viewers, they want to see something. They want to see a plan in action instead of just them just taking it in the butt. Yeah. Or in Negan's case, dick in the mouth and saying thank you. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so they're just really messing with him with the whole burning of the bed. It's like you, you're thinking that they're going to take the beds just so they need more beds. Maybe building a, a, a bed fortress, but no. I figured it was going to be like, there'd be some sort of like, you know, psychological warfare kind of thing. Like, I figured... Even when Negan said, like, oh, nobody had to die today, I thought he was going to kill somebody anyways. Yeah. Just to kind of, like, prove a point. Like, hey, stay in line, you know? Yeah. Because that seems to be, like, what his whole thing is about, keeping order and keeping them scared. Mm-hmm. If Rick were to just hit Negan, <laughs> like, what's... Well, they got numbers, and then they'll retaliate, and they'll just probably annihilate the whole uh, Alexandria. Or maybe the followers decide, you know what? With Negan gone... I don't think we have to follow orders anymore. Everyone just does whatever they want. Yeah. It's like, I don't see... I don't know. Because everything is based on fear. Mm-hmm. Uh, but then, there are some people that will take... That will step it up and try to fill that role and just continue the fear. So we don't really know unless somebody does something about it and just see where, where it goes. But Rick is... He doesn't want to risk that. There's, there's a lot of risk. Yeah, like, I mean, look at Dwight. Dwight's probably, like, the best case for it, because, I mean, he's shown, like, he's broken his whatever mask or whatever yeah. that he puts on, and then, like, but then when he's out with everybody else, he can still be a dick. Yeah. You know? But then, like, when he's back with Daryl, he's just like, just do this. He's like, I've already been where you're at. Just say yes. Just give in, you know? And it'll be over, and it'll be a lot easier. Yeah. And it's like... So everyone just has to put up a front when they're around Negan. Do you guys think if uh, Rick took out Negan and they still had their guns in Alexandria, do you think they would be able to take out all of Negan's guys and then uh, have a battle? Would Negan's group still follow ne- uh, You know, follow the group even with Negan gone? Let's know your thoughts below. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you haven't yet subscribed, subscribe to our channel. With that said, I'm John. I'm Mike. And we'll see you guys next time.